Hello, this is David Olani Pekon, the host and creator of Let's Talk Creatives, a podcast talk show set up to engage with the creative community throughout the globe. And today's special guest is Oscar Akunu, who's a hyper realist artist who specializes in ballpoint Bible pen. The art scene in Nigeria, as you said, has been very supportive towards you. Yeah, so if you go into that a bit more. Okay. Um... Yeah, when we, had our, when we had our first exhibition in the Insanity Show in 2016, it was a group show of 10 artists. Yeah. And you know, the nature of the reception was something, was something that really encouraged the younger generation of, of Nigerian artists a lot, especially the 10 of us that was in that show. You know? And then at that moment, we thought, um, okay, this is... Um, this is a, a great supportive system that we have here in Nigeria. And then working as a Nigerian artist, you know, we, we have a diverse culture. So um, the, the influence, the, 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 the inspiration is really diverse. And you can see this in, in different, um, 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 different works of different artists in different generations, you know, starting from the young ones, you know, to the older generation in the system. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. That's good. And you're inspired by your personal experience, so that translates into your yeah, art. And then I think um, another um, great inspiration that Nigerian artists have is, um, you know, we really have these artists who are, um, who are like godfathers here in Nigeria. And we also have Nigerians that we all look up to, especially the younger generation, look up to these guys that are the global stages. You know, that the global stage, you know, making these moves like, you know, um, the, the Yinka Shinibare, you know, the Ella Natsu and, and the rest. You know, Nigerian art, younger artists have these guys to look up to and it's really a great drive for us. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely a good drive, you know, to see like um, Nigerian artists, you know, perform on the global stage. So mm-hmm. it's, it's good. It's, it's really, it's, it's really encouraging. Uh, for me to see this, you know, it's very encouraging. So I like to see, you know, more art kind of tackling the international scene. So I'm seeing visual artists, I'm seeing uh, art, you know, Nigerian artists like doing writing, poetry, doing movies, loads mm-hmm. of things in film and media. So I just want to see um, the art and media scene within the African diaspora just. Mm-hmm. You know, I just want to see it explode everywhere. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I just want to see, I just want to see it. I want to see movies in Nigeria, you know, on the same level, if not higher than Hollywood movies, you know? I want to just see, keep on, keep on seeing that. You know, I want to exactly. see Nigerian people tell stories about Nigeria. I want to mm-hmm. just see, like, more of this, you know? So I'm, I'm excited to see, like, all these young artists I've been speaking with. You know, it fills me with excitement, you know, to see the future of the art and media scene in Africa, you know, moving forward. So, yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm very excited. So, <clears throat> so yeah. Yes. So, um, so what advice would you give uh, to any artist perhaps that's struggling in this situation? You know, what has helped you? Oh, okay. Um, I think um, I, I think I'm, I'm big. I'm a big intro, introvert. You know. Um, I think even for everyone, everyone, this is the time. Yeah. Okay. I, I think this is the time. Are you with me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good. Um, this is the time that we all have, you know, to look within and then find what is um, true to us. Find what um, you know. As we find what really who we, who we really are, and then try to um, channel our work in that direction. Because I think the social media is beautiful. Instagram is beautiful. You know, there's having a lot of artists, you know, to share the work, reach out, get influence, you know, get inspiration from a wide range of um, of artworks and artists on the internet. But then, in a way, it has it has I think it has a way of you know swaying these artists, you know, in a way that they get so much influence that they don't that it affects what is really true to them, you know. It affects the creativity that they can bring to the table, 
And then what I really like to um, advise um, other artists, especially the younger generation, is when you're there, you know, consuming all of this stuff, you should also, also find the time, you know, to introspect and you know, find what is true to you and have that to influence your art the more. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's very true. Well, this is another reason why I'm really encouraged to speak with um, lots of, like, you know, I've just been talking to loads of Nigerian artists, you know, in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, as you said, you know, to reflect your truth, and the artwork, you know, I'm seeing a lot of, you know, artists, you know, studying, you know, uh, their heritage and um, and incorporating it into and just putting it into their own artwork. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. As opposed to just copying what everyone else is doing. Around, yeah. Like, know, yeah. So, so, yeah, it was like, yeah, obviously, Nigeria, they've been producing great artworks for many, many, many years. You know, you got pieces in the British Museum that date back over 800 years old. So there's like, Nigeria has a long, long history of uh, great artwork. So uh -huh. yeah, just for the younger people out there, just to let you guys know, obviously you've been doing great work, you know, in Nigeria for thousands and thousands of years, to be honest, you know, before, you know, so, so yeah, yeah. So how else have you been occupying your time? You know, have you been reading any books? Have you been watching any movies, TV shows? Uh, yeah, yeah, books yeah. are more. I'm not really big. I'm not really big in, in books and movies because uh, you know, okay. my eyes. I don't really like okay. to engage in any books by my eyes because of my work. Okay. You know, okay. So I don't podcast mostly. Okay. Podcast mostly. And then you know, this is the time. You know, with this break, a lot of people are are not really experiencing this moment for what it is because this is a moment that most people when, when you engage most people this time you see that they're either looking back to the past or looking uh, uh in front you know yeah thinking what am i going to do after this nobody yeah. really experiences this period you know because i see most of the movies we even see are uh, old movies we, we, we've seen uh paris of the caribbean we see uh, <laughs> Looking back, you know, is it that we're going back or we're planning um, on what to do after this? But it's not really, it's not really existing within this group. So I think that has really affected our choice and, and stuff. Yeah. Have, a lot of people have a lot of time on their hands. So anything you're thinking of doing, just take the time to do it. Just start mm -hmm. it. Don't think too much about mm -hmm. it. Just do it, you know. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. this podcast, I set it up during this um, lockdown period. You know, so mm -hmm. yeah, prior to this, I had an art blog. I was, you know, I was doing interviews with artists, but I never had like a podcast. And obviously, yeah. since I have no access, physical access to artists or spaces or locations, I thought, mm -hmm. okay, let me utilize my Skype account mm -hmm. and produce like a podcast. And mm -hmm. let me reach out to all these different artists and like just produce a series on my mm -hmm. YouTube account. So so yeah, I've been talking to loads of amazing artists, you know, and um, I just want people just to see the videos, to be encouraged, uh, to be educated and find it in themselves to inspire themselves to do what they, what, whatever their heart desires, you know, so, so yeah, 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 lots of things, lots of things. So you spend hundreds and hundreds of hours on each piece. So, yeah. so um, my works really start. Okay, um, I think most of the time when I get an idea for a work or maybe um, an idea for a series of work, you know, when it, whenever it comes, um, I get inspired maybe by from a movie or from um, a story from the internet. I, you know, I try a way to to write it down. You know, yeah. in a journal, try a way to write it down, and then maybe sometimes if it's not something I can express in words, um, I try to you know flesh them out in sketches mm. and then that sketch um will now influence um the type of photo shoot um i'm going to do for that um particular idea or for that project then you know after the photo shoot mostly um most of my works um are are derived or are um are influenced by who photo shoot not really just from one picture 
So when you look at the work, what you are seeing is mostly photo shoot. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I, shoot, I shoot. I have a time. I have a moment with these um my subjects. I shoot mm -hmm. them, you know, and then I use that um I use that um picture, those pictures, you know, decide um the direction of the work. Okay. Okay. And then, but this is part. Most of this um is part of the. Uh, it's part of the um, 350 hours, 400 hours I spend on the world. You know, all of these processes. Yes, yes. Yeah, Boz, I've never, like, before I came across your work, like a mm -hmm. couple of years ago, mm -hmm. I've never seen anyone, like, execute four-point pen drawings mm -hmm. the way you, like, you really put a lot of time. I've seen, since then, I have seen other ballpoint pen artists, but mm -hmm. you do it really as a special, like, you know, it's, it's really yeah, special. I think most of my rendering um, and techniques was developed when I was um, in architecture school. You know, we did a lot of um, cross hatches, we did a lot of um, mm. hatches, we did pointillism as part of our drawing um, techniques in, in producing um, graphic works in school. So yeah. that was why I really developed my style you know, working with the pen and became more comfortable with it. And then I think that's why I really developed um, the skills. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And um, do you use a particular type of ballpoint pen or, yeah, so yeah. do you use a particular type of ballpoint pen or any one? Um, I use the big, I use the big ball pen. Yeah, yeah. The, one with the, the one with the crystal case. Yeah. Yeah, so what, what really happens is most times, most times I buy, you know, I normally buy them in parks. And then uh, I think a lot of artists asked me, a lot of artists asked me um, if, I, if they um, give me different hues and different shades. Okay. So most of the time in the park, they're going to have pens that have more fluidity. They're going to have ones, uh, you know, that, that have less fluidity. Okay. okay, so I'm always covering the ones and then I'm labeling them. You know, I get the one that has less a little bit, and you know that's what I, I do with the part. And then okay. once you have one, once you have one um, with less fluidity, and you want to use them for your lighter shades or for your highlights, at a point, you know, the, because of our, your hands, you know, you sweat a lot. The heat, yeah, the way of making the pen become more fluid, and you have to drop drop that particular pen and pick up another pen. That is cooler, you know, and all of that, you know, they have a way of affecting the quality of work in, uh, that you produce. Interesting, interesting. So that's quite interesting. That might be a potential gap in the market. Maybe you could develop a special ballpoint pen specifically for art. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, because like what you're telling me is like one pen is. Like each of the pens are a little bit different, so yeah. you calculate it to the shades. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, but if you had, that's quite interesting. That could be a, you know, <laughs> like seriously, seriously. I mean, I mean, you know, um, the, I, the 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 tip of the pen, most of uh, the tip of the pen I use is, is made um with uh, brass. So with the friction, with the friction, hmm. sometimes it makes the pen over overflow because um when it gets heated up. It makes the, the pen overflow, yes. and you don't want to continue with um, the, a pen like that for when you're working on highlights. So you, have, yes. you always have to drop them and pick up um, and not a new one. Uh, you know that is that is um, that, that that has less fluidity. Okay, okay. And do you teach workshops on how to render with um, ballpoints? Do you actually do you teach workshops? Yes, I was supposed to, the first workshop I was supposed to hold, like I told you, was supposed yeah. to be interviewed, was supposed to be interviewed. That, that, that could have been my first workshop. But, but outside that, I have people that come around, interns that come around, you know, yeah. it's, it's not really formal, it's not really formal, they come around and I teach them um, some of my techniques. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yes, so um, what are your plans for the future for when uh, all of this with the lockdown blows over? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to a couple of galleries um, that are interested in, in showing my work internationally. Okay, um, so yeah. I'm, I'm hoping, like most of them, 
most of them were not able to give um, they were not able to give one year contract because the COVID nineteen has taken a part of the year. So mm-hmm. it's, um, it's yeah, I think most most of them are giving a one year and um, one and a half year two years um, project because of um, they don't really they don't really um, can predict they can't really predict um, 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 what's um, to come in the art market. Yeah. Yeah. So they do more time, you know, to figure out um, how to move ahead. Some of them are contacting me um, to show my work um, internationally. And I think that is still in process. But before that, I've been building the portfolio to make sure that I have something to share in the uh, future. Okay, okay, yeah. But definitely, like, you know, a book and the tutorials, like, it, it's quite, that could be definitely super, super lucrative, you know for like just to sell online content like that i think it'd be super lucrative for you because obviously your skill is super unique man <laughs> it's very very unique so it'll be very very valuable stuff because i've been speaking to a lot of people a lot of artists and they're really it's a really good business just the educational part of their talent so but yeah have you been have you been approached by like filmmakers out of curiosity I didn't have get it. Have you been approached by filmmakers or film directors or, oh, like, no. or musicians? Yes, I've done. I've done. I've done a. I've done a music cover, um, an album cover, for an artist, in, um, in, um, a Canadian artist, and I think that is. Um, and then one of the work I, I recorded, I recorded um, the work, the process of making the work, and he used it for one of his music videos. Ah, okay, okay, cool, okay. That's cool. A- ah, okay, all right. Nice, nice, nice. No, that's good, man. That's that's good, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, yeah. So for um, just thinking. Hold on, one second. Let me just check out my notes. So. Yes. Okay. So I think we covered quite a few things is there anything else you'd like to share actually you know, yes so for people listening what's your website where can people find your work oh okay my website is oscarukonu.com yeah my name is oscarukonu.com and then mostly on instagram and oscarukonu on instagram and then on facebook Oscar Okonu Arts. nice uh is there anything else you'd like to share um Nothing really, nothing really. I'm just, you know, this is just my career. Um, you know, yeah. I'm just happy to move the direction. It's you. That's just yeah. it for me now. Okay, okay. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Oscar, I appreciate yeah. your time. Thank you very much for um, talking with me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, your work is amazing. Uh, you know, your work is awesome. Like, you know, keep on doing your thing. Um, uh, take care, stay safe. And I'll talk to you soon. Yep. Same to you. Same to you, brother. All right. Take it. All right. See you. Yep.